Um, basically, it's been because I've been injured for the past month. I uh, had a pretty nasty ankle collision with a goalkeeper, so pretty much went into 50-50 with my foot kind of exposed, and the goalie just ran through my foot, and we made contact on the ball at the same time, and ever since, I haven't really figured out what the problem was, but this video is pretty much just going to be a day in life as me as an injured player, just on my recovery stuff that I got to do, and then pretty much what I'm doing throughout the day, so... I'm also going to the doctor tomorrow just to figure out what this was because my physios told me that it's probably just a sprained ankle and that I should be back to playing by this week, but I can't even touch a ball without any severe pain. So at this point, I just want to get it figured out to see where I'm going to be at. So it's also going to be the last video for a while where I have this color hair. Um, Decided to do something pretty bold today, and I'm getting it dyed bleach blonde, so that should be interesting for me. First time doing that in my life, so, but it's one of those things you just gotta try out and see if it works, so we'll see how it goes. Plus, it's summer, so if it doesn't look good, buzz cut, we got the summer buzz cut, so either way, we're getting to the video. Please be sure to stick around, like, and subscribe, and let's go. <laughs> wasn't anything too crazy just went to Mercadona and got a nice little paella for those who don't know Mercadona is like the grocery store here that everyone goes to and they sell hot food and it's some of the best paella I've had I'm not gonna lie but either way now it's just pretty much time to chill school's back on again so in my spring term final term my junior year which is crazy never thought I'd be saying that right now but nevertheless I've got some homework to do is start off the week and then Pretty much just gonna chill out for a little bit afterwards and then six and getting a haircut and it's pretty much it so so at the facility today I was just doing some exercise as you guys saw so um physio also told me that you know i'm gonna see the doctor tomorrow morning and hopefully all goes well and that you know i have a chance at playing again this season but really looking forward to just hearing what he has to say so hopefully everything goes well but like I said, for now, I'm just going to chill for about an hour or two. We'll probably take a nap, watch a Netflix show or two, and then hit the books. And then probably send a few emails just because I need to start planning again for next season. Just what I'm going to do in terms of team-wise, where I'm going to be playing, if I'm going to be playing next season or not somewhere. So we'll see. But for now, I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so a little change of plan. I had to go a little bit earlier just cause like I had a little bit of space freed up. So right now I'm on my way to the bank, get some euros real quick. And yeah, about to do this thing real quick. So see you guys afterwards. see i've got a completely new head of hair new color and everything new cut also so i think it looks pretty decent so good way to get out of your comfort zone try new things so i've been trying to dye my hair for a little bit now didn't think i was ever gonna go full head of hair but kind of happy i did it worked well so i'm really happy with how it looks and i think it was a good risk to take so if you're thinking about dyeing your hair i definitely think you should do it 
try it, get out of your comfort zone a little bit. And I mean, the worst of the worst, it's going to grow out in a few months. So you just have to deal with it. But either way, like I said, so it took about an hour and a half or so or two. So right now I'm just going to cook some dinner, chill out the rest of the night, maybe catch up on a little bit of homework or watch some Netflix, depending on how I'm feeling after I eat. So, and then tomorrow is the day of the scan. So we're going to see what exactly is wrong with my ankle. And then afterwards, I'm going to have to wait like a few days or so just to see what my results are. So praying for the best, praying that I'm not going to be out for another month or two. So, and hopefully I can get back on the pitch soon, but... appointment today and then like I said yesterday do the scan today maybe do some other exams just to see my mobility and stuff like that and then find out the results sometime next week so I'm a little nervous but uh, it's also you know thinking worst case scenario so you never know could be back to playing within another week and a half so hoping for the best and then I'll see you guys afterwards <music> results today or figure out what was going to happen so best came out actually got my results so basically what the doctor told me is that I have a bone bruise on the inside of my ankle so my collision was when I made contact with the ball and the inside of my foot was the main thing that got hit so he basically said that I can't really do any mobility or any running or nothing with the ball for another two weeks at minimum so all those exercises that i was doing in the beginning pretty much can't do any of those anymore so i thought i was making progress but it was actually kind of hindering it so and then he said also that it could be another month or so where i don't touch the ball so um it's just a little bit of a weird situation right now just because it could be two weeks and then I could start doing mobility stuff and then, you know, start touching the ball again or the pain just continues for four weeks and I've made no progress. So basically I've just got to keep icing it, elevate it, and then just keep working on my upper body. So, um, yeah, for next season, it's looking rough for this season. It's looking rough also just because the season ends in six games. So, for me, I'm going to be missing one this weekend, so that would be five, and then I'll be missing next week, and then luckily there's a league break, I think, and then afterwards the season picks up again, so that's the tail end of the season, so um, really just don't really know what to do, just because if I'm not going to be able to play in four weeks or three weeks, um, I might as well just go home, so... It just kind of sucks just because I don't have anything really lined up for next season. So can't go on trials because I'm injured. Can't go on trials anyway because, you know, I haven't really proven anything to anyone yet. So that just kind of sucks. So i um, going to figure it all out and just see what happens. So okay, I just want to say thank you all for watching. Um, hopefully, you know, I can get some mobility videos going soon or some training videos in the future. So we're not done definitely not done. I mean, it's a light little injury. So for this season, I might be, but you know, just come back stronger in the summer and come back better. So that'll be it. But please be sure to like and subscribe, share the video, be sure to leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.